Well, it's the 2nd of July, 2014. It kind of looks like 2011, actually. I'm on number five highway. I shouldn't be here, actually, because I've gone past a barricade. This is uh, the Assiniboine River, flooding the uh, number five highway, taking away the ditch, just like it did three years ago, filling up the ditch on this side. And on the other side, it's completely full. I don't think I'm gonna risk driving that today, but uh, I'll try and get around to the other side and see if I can uh, get some footage of what's going on right at the Assiniboine River. But in any case, this is what's happening. Highway's closed, water over the highway, and just outside of Spruce Woods Park. I'm just, oh, I don't know, I guess a half a kilometer up the road from where the uh, water was over the highway. This is a cornfield. Uh, well, most of a cornfield anyway. It's submerged, completely submerged at this end, and this is what it was like in 2011. This was the extent of the flood in 2011 as well, so something big is going on here in Spruce Woods Park. We got ourselves a flood again, folks. And this is only the beginning of it by the look of it. Apparently we got lots more water coming in from Saskatchewan down the Assiniboine River. Great. Well, it's the afternoon of July 2nd still, and I looped around and came into the uh, Spruce Woods Park by, uh, by the north this time. I went up to number one and came around. Here's the Assiniboine River, boy, is it high here. It's overflowing a little bit into the ditch toward the access road to the Spirit Sands up there, which in 2011 was completely washed away and the water went all the way up to Marsh Lake. This time, so far, the river is behaving itself. Um, there is access to the campground from here, from the north, uh, direct access. Although they did evacuate the lower campground this morning because of the threat of, uh, of flooding. So uh, there is some uh, impaired camping going on here. The upper campground and the yurts are, uh, are in fine condition today. The water is rising here. We'll see what happens in the next oh, 12 hours, I would say. And uh, the next 24 for sure, we'll know a little bit better about what happens to Sprucewood Park. All right, it's the 4th of July, Friday the 4th of July. I'm standing at uh, Highway number five in the Assiniboine River. It's quite a juncture today. Boy, this river is moving fast and hard. I was here two days ago and it was, uh, it hasn't risen very much, but it sure wasn't running quite this fast, quite this hard. Um, the surge is yet to come. You can't get through the park on number five highway directly. There is a detour through the campground. And um, so basically there, there still is access to Marsh Lake to the Spirit Sands uh, to the uh, campground. I'm going to check about the lower campground to see the status of it. Well, this is Marsh Lake in Spruce Woods Park. It's Friday, the 4th of July, and it's a placid little lake today. It's waiting too, just like everybody else is waiting to see what the Assiniboine River is going to do over the next couple of days. We're kind of in river limbo in Manitoba right now. There's a surge of water coming in, coming down from the north, down uh, the Assiniboine River. Uh, nobody quite knows how much water is coming. Some people say four feet, some people say six feet. A lot of water is coming, if either one of those are close. Peaks are expected, oh, starting I think about the 8th of July, so next week places along the Assiniboine should be experiencing some of their peaks, um, but we'll see. And we'll see what happens to Little Spruce Woods Park. I hope it's not a repeat of 2011 when it was absolutely devastated. But well, we'll see what happens. I'll come back next week uh, once we have a clear idea of what the surge is uh, like and how severe or not it's going to be. In any case, this will be my report for today uh, from beautiful Marsh Lake. Yeah, painted turtles down there. Oh, they just jumped into the water.